as the world steps into a digital transformation, it is time you step up and grab this opportunity. This is the best time to advance your security career just so that you can make some big bucks. Do you also want to know which are the demanding roles in 2020? Well, if you do, you are in the right place. Watch this video till the end cause I guarantee you will have all of this information by the end of the video. Once again, welcome back to House's Secure Network. Let's get started right after this short intro. At number 10, job roles like network support, support analyst or rather support engineers are always in demand. This role is an evergreen role where you support your customers on generic network issues. Let's find out what is the average amount that it pays. Approximately $76,000. Well, not bad. At number 9 job rules like network specialist, security specialist or a combination of both are fairly in demand. This role is a senior role where you work alongside a support engineer but in the leading position and make configuration decisions. This role pays you around $80,000 which is cool. At number 8 job roles like infosec specialist, infosec engineer or rather infosec support engineers are an other set of roles which are always in demand. In this role you will be basically working on compliance monitoring or rather compliance related tasks. This pays you fairly about $90,000 which is a fair price as per me. At number 7 we have cybersecurity roles like cybersecurity specialist, cybersecurity engineers, or rather cybersecurity experts. In this role, you'll be a key person in highlighting cybersecurity issues and how exactly can you support them with your expertise by mitigating the latest attacks and threats. This role pays you close to $100,000, which is a good amount. At number 6, we have job roles like a cloud specialist or a cloud analyst. In these type of roles, you basically land your foot in the world of cloud security. This role pays you a little above cybersecurity analysts. At number 5, we have job roles like cloud migration specialist or a cloud integration engineer. This role is for those of you who like migrating the infrastructure from an on-prem kind of environment to a cloud environment and then maintain the cloud environment. With the world adapting a digital transformation, this role is in very high demand. After all, it pays you almost a hundred thousand dollars. At number 4, we have some expert level roles like cloud security specialist or a cloud security engineer. In this role, you got to secure the cloud. With all the tools provided to you, you got to maintain the security levels as high as you can. On an average, this role pays you a little above $100,000. At number 3, roles like an ethical hacker who can also work on different vulnerabilities and can also pen test the whole infrastructure are in great demand. With the world suffering due to the pandemic, cyber crimes are on an all time rise due to which this role is in even more demand. This role pays you a good $120,000. Now here comes the big bucks. At number 2, we have a role called Azure Security Architect. In this role, you'll be securing the Azure environment along with the on-premise environment as well. You are also responsible for leading the security migrations. This role pays you a whooping $130,000.
Yes, you heard it right. I'm pretty sure all those Azure security architects must be feeling like Pablo Escobar every month on their payday. At last, the number one job role in demand in 2020 is AWS Security Architect. This role pays you a mighty $156,000 on an average. Now you must be wondering why is there so much difference between Azure and AWS Architects. Here's the reason, as per Gartner's peer insights, all those reviews collated and averaged in the last 12 months only talks about AWS being rated 4.6 out of 5 next to Microsoft which is rated 4.5 out of 5. If you go in detail, AWS has a 12% higher rating than Microsoft. By the way, all these roles can pay you more than the average amount considering your expertise and your work experience. In the end, this is my version of the money heist, where you make money not by breaking the security, but by building it.